it almost feels too fast to be a moped. Like, it's too fast for how small it is. Hello. Here comes the cure. Straight to the vein like a vaccination. I'm lacking patience. I'm more like Morpheus. Hack the matrix. Red pill for a minute activation. This. <clears throat> I haven't done this in a minute, all right? Give me, give me a break. It's a big day in the moped world. You know, recently on this channel, I've been getting into mopeds. We've got the Poop Maxi right here. Uh, we put the 70cc kit on, carb, exhaust, everything. Today, we got some upgrades for it. Basically stock, these things have like terrible suspension. The rear suspension is like a bounce house when you're on it. Front suspension, same way, just bottoms out every single time you put the wheel down. So, we got a box with some parts, but the good thing about this is it's not only parts for my moped, there's also parts for Jack's moped, who's behind the camera right now. As you can see, I know last time we filmed with Jack's moped, it was pretty trashed, I can't lie, but over the past couple months, he like totally redid the thing and just like tore it down, painted it, cleaned it up. So we got a new kit for that, new 70cc kit, a bunch of cool parts, really nice carburetor, so let's go. Yeah, let's go. It's gonna be it's gonna be a big day. We got a lot of parts, so I'll show you what we have so far. So this is for my moped. Just got some gaskets, cool, standard. Delorto carburetor. So the big, probably the biggest thing we're gonna be doing today for mine is a 19 millimeter PHVG Delorto carburetor. If you know mopeds, you know Delorto. They're, they're really good cars. And it should make this thing like open up way more. It's gonna fly. Got some stunt pegs for the back so I can do some little stand-ups, two-up action, uh, air filter, throttle cable, some basic stuff. And then we got rear shocks in this box. And then for Jack's bike, actually, I don't even know. I feel like we should do yours in a different video. All right, we're, pro we're probably gonna make two videos out of this. All right, so for Jack's bike right here. Let's go. Yo. His bike is gonna be getting a VM20 Makuni carburetor. These things are absolute monsters. They just make Tomos's fly. Got the intake for that and a little uh, air stack or whatever these are called. Velocity stack, that's what it's called. Got Melosi reeds, new throttle cable, and then the new top end and everything is in that box. So we're gonna break into that, get the new parts, and then start installing stuff. So these parts we got from Treatland, and they don't sponsor me or anything, but like shout out to those guys. Jack knows they help so much. Their customer service is crazy. Overall, probably the best moped, moped company that I've worked with. So if you need parts, hit them up. And I'm trying to get sponsored, so Treatland, if you're watching, please. Like I'm trying to bring mopeds to the mainstream. I need you guys' help. But uh, we're gonna break into this. Let's see what we got. First thing is gonna be for Jack's bike. We got the cylinders. So that's the uh, 70cc head and then 45 millimeter 70cc kit for an A3. Like I said, we're probably gonna do this in the next video. Uh, we'll work on his bike, but for this one, we're gonna get all my stuff done. So for me, oh yeah, let's go. Got some beefy rear suspension. I need those. So these are pretty much these are similar to like the stock Tomos ones, maybe a little bit beefier. Compared to the uh, stock Pook suspension, these things are just gonna be way more stiff, way better for doing wheelies. Cause when you're stunting on these things, you just wanna have like a stiff base to be like standing on, you know? So we got two of those for me. That's crazy, crazy. Stickers? Huh? No stickers, bruh. Treats, step up. Wait. Cheers, let's, let's go. go. Melosi Hyper Racing, dude. That's, wow. that's hard, that's hard. All right. Let's freaking get into it, I guess. Here comes the cure. Straight to the vein like a vaccination. I'm lacking patience. I'm more like Morpheus. Hack the matrix. Red pill for a minute activation. So first thing we're going to do is put these big boys on. So we're going to take these shocks off, uh, fit these up, and then try and get these stunt pegs to work with them. So This might hurt just a little bit. Just a little pinch. That's all. Making sure you... These things are so, so dainty compared to that other one. That's crazy. I really wish you could feel the difference in these two. Like... Oh my, this one is probably like one pound and this one feels like it's five pounds. That's crazy. It's gonna be a huge difference. This is like, suspension is one of the most important things on mopeds. People always say it's power and they're like, my moped doesn't make enough power to wheelie. But the key to it is just your body weight and having like decent suspension. That's all you really need. Hell yeah. All right, so these shocks are kind of universal. So they make these little spacers that go in here so that they fit on the bolt for the pook. Not dreaming. 
You got a lot of nerve saying it's what I deserve. Why you acting like you don't got demons? One thing that people do when they do wheelies on mopeds is they put pegs on the back that are just kind of like stunt pegs like any other stunt bike would have. And I tried to use these stock ones. They're just like stock passenger pegs that bolt up here, but they're made to like fold and they're not really made for standing on. So they're a little bit flimsy. So I got these BMX pegs for 10 bucks. I'm going to try and bolt them right here so that I actually have like something sturdy to stand on and uh, do some stunts. So we're going to see if we can get them to work. Put a washer and then spacer like before. Something like that. And then, um, bro, that looks professional. Oh my God. That's pretty dang. I inhale so I don't stop breathing. Try and stay afloat with a boat, stop leaking. My shit like when the liquor's all free. And your shit like when the chicken not seasoned. You not hot, boy, I know you buy bots. Chop, chop, make it to that top spot. Just to post a pick in a. Alright, so we got the new suspension on. Both sides looking extra crispy. Got the stunt pegs. Definitely way more solid than the setup I had. Not gonna be bouncing over bumps like a bouncy house. Gonna have something sturdy to step on. So the next thing we gotta do is this carburetor. So this is a 14 millimeter Bing carburetor. Uh, Pooks have Bing carburetor stock. So this is basically a stock carburetor. What we're gonna be putting on it is this Delordo right here. 19 millimeter Delordo. Got a big air filter for it too. Then this 19 millimeter intake. So first thing we gotta do is try and fit up this intake and see if it's gonna work. So. Gonna be right there. Ran it drop top while I smoke a double dutch and I sip a hop scotch. Oof, that's neat. My life's Alright boys. It's so awkward. Right, Don't yeah, make it awkward. Right right yeah, Jay is so drunk. Tell me how to do my tell me how to do my job. You're I'm making serious. it too awkward there. Right? Alright, so we got the carburetor off. The first thing that we're gonna do is this intake right here. As you can see, it's a square, right? Now that's a problem. It's a rectangle. It's a rectangle, right? The uh, the issue is the intake that we got for the new carburetor has a circle on the bottom. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna Dremel this and try and make it into a rectangle. All right, so what I did is I put Sharpie on this. From the exact, we just in <laughs> 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 the background. Daniel, dude. It has a background. <laughs> All right, so I took Sharpie, marked up where I want to cut it at. Use this Dremel if it works. You should. Yeah. Use that, cut that out into as rectangle as I can, and then install it right there. Easy peasy. Been a mess since last week. Sometimes my heart too heavy, and I think I'm a sink when it's just not that deep. No, it's not that deep. Slide these MX on there. Cover if it's not six feet, it's not that deep. Those aren't that ugly. All right, so update of where we're at. Got the new suspension on, got the pegs on. We have the carb intake on, but the next thing that we kind of got to figure out is the throttle cable. The new carb actually sits like farther out than the old one did. And this throttle cable is just too tight. It's not long enough, so it kind of sticks. Basically, we need, to, we need to put on a longer throttle cable. So we got the throttle cable right here, but there's another issue with this throttle. So if you can look at this, the throttle and the uh, brake line are like one assembly. And what I want to do is run something like this that's like a short pull throttle that just makes it a little bit easier to go full throttle because that's basically all you need on these mopeds so what we did if we want to run this throttle we're going to need to uh rewire the brake to something other than this because this assembly is not going to be on there so we got a new brake lever that the front brake is going into seems like it's working pretty good so that should mount up there. We should be able to use this throttle, slide it on there with the new longer throttle cable, and hopefully that'll do the carb some justice. So got to figure that out. If it's not six feet, it's not that deep. You lucky as fuck, it's all random. Young John Ham, mad man, show handsome. Could have did the bad boy act though. Throttle is hooked up. This brake is on there. Next thing that we got to do is get the carb on, hooked up to the end of the throttle cable, and then we should be good to hopefully get that throttle dialed in and maybe try and start it, something like that, I think. All right, so we got the throttle hooked up to the slide. This next thing is just to put the carb on to the intake, put this in there and see what we can do. Tantrums, little kids nap, big bag, no ransom. What a coincidence. What are the chances? You too insignificant. You won't understand this. I tap it down the rabbit hole and went on this tangent. Radical thoughts that end in mental expansion. Big bang boom, make room for the young man. I'm Duke Nukem with bazookas in a gun band. Finally got the throttle hooked up. We didn't really film that because it was super annoying and it took like two hours to get this thing hooked up. It's like 
decent. It works. It's better than the stock one, I guess. Front brake is on there, ready to go. Carburetor over here is all hooked up, ready to go. There's no air filter or anything on it yet, but got the fuel line in. All right, I guess we're gonna try and start it. So that's the choke, it's on. Switch is on. I have no idea what to expect from this. Oh, that sounds way beefier though. Sounds good. Oh. mopeds is when you put like 70 cc kits in like big carbs and everything on them they make way too much power than they're supposed to and the bottom end is like not built for that much power so either this thing's gonna fly or the bottom end might blow up but we'll see back It's like a totally different bike. The power is just, it's like undescribable. You gotta go ride. You have to. First time out on the moped with the big carburetor on it. I'm super hype on this. You might not be able to tell in video, but holy, this thing is way, way faster than it was before. This is by far like the biggest mod I think you can do to these things. They fly. It almost feels too fast to be a moped. Like it's too fast for how small it is. Woo-hoo-hoo! Holy! <laughs> I'm gonna need some better brakes to make up for how much power this thing has now. It's crazy. Oh boy. Holy crap, dude. It's actually insane. It's actually insane how much power it makes. Smoking like a hookah when it's done. I pass like Nash with the suns or Luca on the run. I'm this throttle is so much more responsive, too. It's beautiful. Mark Cuban, part shark, part human. Tried hard but could not. Woo! <laughs> him. AR's drawn like. That carburetor just screams, man. I really want to get swerves down now with this suspension. The stiffer suspension in the back lets you swerve it a lot easier. She is definitely a ripper though. Crazy. Cops cartooning. What you gonna do when they all sharp shooting? The mid-range throttle on this thing is just instant torque. Why won't this guy pass us? <laughs> he said, give me a wheelie. You gotta love when the people wanna see wheelies, man. It's amazing. Who doesn't love wheelies, bro? Let's go. My first time riding since December, since I fell. Fuck it. Start looting. Protest like smart students. Stop talking and start doing it. Put your heart into it, y'all. Not that deep. <laughs> I just stood up on the foot pegs. Little stunt peg action. That's so funny. <laughs> If it's not six feet, it's not that deep. If it's not six feet, it's not that deep. So good, dude. Yeah. Dude, this thing is crazy. Like, I don't know what I was expecting from a 19 millimeter car, but this thing is amazing. I didn't tune it at all either. I literally dropped the pilot jet one size and that's all I did. The rest of it just literally put it on there and started it up. And I put that new throttle on there. It's kind of like a shorter pull. It's not like a quarter pull throttle, but it's definitely shorter than the stock one. And it's just like power right away, man. It's amazing. I'm so, I'm so happy. I did not think my moped would ever make this much power. And the other thing I noticed is the suspension on it. This new suspension. Oh my God, it's so nice. Like I'm so used to pulling up a wheelie and it just, the whole thing is like a bouncy house. You hit a bump, it bounces for like five seconds after, but now it is just dialed. Like other than the front suspension, which is still pretty weak, gotta do that. But the rest of the bike is pretty much like dialed. There's really not that many more things you can do to a moped to make it like stunnable so i'm pretty happy with this that's a, that's a w all around is that a w i'd say it's more than a w all right guys it seems we have ran into our first issue uh i got an accidental cruise control here i don't like that one bit i don't like that <laughs> i don't like that dude Woo! 
Oh, it just gives out whenever it wants. Oh, wait, the whole thing just came undone. Oh, it just snapped. What? No way. Did I really just break this throttle? Are you? It does nothing. <laughs> what? That's not cool. <laughs> Dude, it, I actually just snapped it. <laughs> no, the actual metal. That's the only... <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Want to go over there? Go to the gas station. Pedal power, baby. That's why these things got pedals. <sighs> it's like gear one. <gasps> <laughs> this is not good guys we're kind of far away from the house dude how am i gonna pedal all the way home like right there you can tell it was like grubbing or something oh, and it's literally this was attached to that it's completely snapped dude this throttle felt so good it feels actually i'm surprised like the top end of it doesn't feel that much faster but from like quarter power to like three quarter power that range right there like when you're going still like 20 miles an hour 30 miles an hour it's so much more torquey it's crazy i can pick it up like a dirt bike instead of just throwing my whole body on it i just like roll into the throttle and pop it a little bit just twist it farther what did you oh you pushed it back in wait no i think i think you pushed it oh it unscrewed or something what so it was just unscrewing i guess all right boys well other than this 30 dollar amazon throttle like <laughs> completely breaking on me in uh under 10 minutes of riding i'd say this thing is amazing so much fun it's ridiculous little update on the wrists too like i am coming back from that wrist injury you saw in the last video it's been over two months since that actually happened hey train what's up dog i'm doing pretty good like my left wrist i actually got surgery on they put a plate in it to uh kind of reinforce my wrist and it actually feels really good the one that bothers me more is my right wrist my right one kind of had more ligament damage to it than uh it did bone damage ligaments just take longer to heal than bone does so my right one might take a little bit longer to heal it sucks because it's my throttle hand like as you can see i'm out here riding right now and it's not bothering me at all it's just not 100 percent. so can't wait for that to be back to 100 percent. we got a bunch of big rides we're going to we're going to charlotte north carolina coming up here we're going to sbk in dallas texas once again we got a bunch of plans for the channel man videos are going to be more consistent i can tell you that much it's gonna be great it's gonna be a great year 2021 Started real rough, but hey, you already know we're gonna make the best of it. I'll see you guys in the next one, man. Let's go. Deep.